new now. What? Mac clips, money stack, show I still got them. Fancy whips, candy track, show I still cop them. What is up, my friends? Ice is back here, and today we're playing some Car Mechanics Simulator 2018. And we are going to jump straight down here, and we are going to work on my truck and finish it up. And we're going to work on the Mustang and try to get some of the work done on it. And he's done. So let's get this started. Let's move over here and go put this thing together. Uh, move car, please. And we're going to car lift B. Thank you very much. That's a pretty sweet truck, right? Yep. I'm not a really big fan of Fords, but I do enjoy some of the older vehicles. So let's get this thing off the ground. Alright, off the ground. Come on up there. Thank you very much. We gotta remove these wheels. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Let's get these lug nuts off. Alright, alright. Now, now that's kind of awkward because it's got the drum up front and the, this truck wouldn't have the drums up front. It had drums in the back, but it's all good. So, let's get this thing tore down. We'll do one side at a time. Tie rod, tie rod in. Uh, yeah, um, okay, it's probably this, yes, yes, so we'll pull one here out, okay, sorry about that, it glitched, it bugged or something for a minute, uh, you know, it's video games and that's what happens, alright, let's get under the front here and we remove this one here, all right, got that one there moved, and we will get this boat here. Yeah, sweet. All right, move the plate, remove the spring. Thank you very much. That's really nice. Oh, God, we're getting too close. All right, uh, move it around here, and we will pull out the shock absorber. All right, shock absorber removed. No, we can't remove the steering thing. Um, let's remove the drive shaft. Wow, there was no bolts in the front drive shaft. That's kind of awkward. Alright. Uh, we're going this side. We'll remove the wheel. I said we'd do one side at a time, but we got to remove the whole front suspension arm. So, we got to get that off. And we will... Alright. Alright. There we go. Remove the... Outer tie rod. You guys know anything about cars? Like I grew up when uh, when I was a kid, and I learned everything I knew about cars from working around my dad. Uh, actually, uh, he taught me a lot there was about cars. Um, I pretty much can tell you every almost every single part on the car. Doesn't mean that I can change it, but yes, I I knew I do know a lot about cars and how to paint them as well. And what the preparation involves, and uh, on any, any kind of car thing, pretty much. Like I'm a big car enthusiast. All right, so we gotta pull. Oh, take off this, and take off that. And why are we not able to pull the front axle again? Um. Oh, okay. I don't understand why that. Okay, that shouldn't be holding holding it on, but I guess it does. I guess the same thing goes for this side. What the is this side? Interesting. All right, remove that, and we should be able to remove that. Good job. And we work our way to the back as soon as we get to do that. So let's go over to our parts bench. And we will see about repairing these items, and if not, we'll have to replace them. So, we'll repair what we got. Alright. Alright, let's go back. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, simple mode. Oh. Normal mode. 
let's go in suspension and we will uh, part mount it up. So, part mount, yes, brand new. Sorry about the 18 wheeler just drove by. I live really close to the road. And we will get one brand new one of these. Uh, we need, we do need those. Uh, so, wheel hub four. So, let's go into our parts and we will get our wheel hub four. Wheel hub, not five, four. There we go. We need two of those, I believe. Yes, we do. So let's get two of those. Thank you very much. All right, one brand new one there. Let's get a brand new axle in. All right. Um. Okay. Lee spring. All right. Bushing. One brand new bushing. What about a shock? Alright, shot front shock B. Okay, let's go to here and we'll go front shock. Front shock B. There we go. Let's get two of those. I know there's gonna be two of them. Alright, so we got the two shocks here. Let's get those installed. Alright, let's get this other bushing installed. Thank you. Alright, so we got that and that installed. We now, we need this. Oh, okay. Front steering knuckle E-ring. Okay. Front steering knuckle E-ring. Front steering not straighting. I don't know. Let's go ring. <laughs> Alright. Front steering knuckles. That's it right there. Yep. Uh, give me two of those. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Alright. There we go. All right, uh, let's get this piece installed here, and we will get the brakes. Oh, we need brakes. Uh, brake shoes. Oh, thank you. Let's go to the brake shoes. Brake shoes. No. <laughs> brake, I guess. All right, brake shoes. Let's get, uh, we'll get two of those. And I'm pretty sure we'll have to go to it when we get it, I think. But I'm pretty sure I have to have two of these. Uh, I'll probably more than likely have to have two of those. Uh, um, two of those. And probably more than likely two of those. Alright, so, let's get this part done. Alrighty. Ah, uh, we need the brake drum. I'll get two of those, because uh, apparently both bad. Both are bad. Okay, so we get that done, and... Alright, we got that part done. Let's put this plate on. Yep, it's good to go. Let's get our leaf spring U-bolts on. Now, guys, if you uh, know anything about cars, uh, when you uh, put a lift kit or lower a lower car down, right, this is the part you have to change right here. You have to change these U-bolts with uh, the plate on the bottom. You you can put, you reverse the block depending on if you want to uh, raise the vehicle or lower the vehicle. I had a low rider pickup one time, and uh, you, what we did, we took, the, I put a, a six-inch block on the rear of the vehicle, which helped it lower it down uh, extremely a lot, about six inches. Um, we need another leaf spring. Yeah, there we go. Alright, brand new leaf spring. But like I was saying, that you, uh, in order to to raise and lower one. That's that's pretty much what you got to do. 
I'm gonna get a steering rack. Uh. Alright, one brand new steering rack, thank you. But there's another uh there's another way you can actually raise the uh raise a vehicle up or lower one down and that is uh body lift blocks. Now, a lot of people are commonly known to do that. They they do use um blocks to raise up their vehicle uh on the springs and they also use uh longer longer springs itself. Now you can buy longer springs itself, not the leaf spring, but the spring itself with the shock. You can do that, and uh, it's like a kit, I believe. Now I've not installed one of those, but I I do know about the kit. And the the body lift itself, you can literally uh, buy that, say tie rod, okay. But there's a lot of work involved when you're raising and lower a vehicle. A lot, there is. And I'm here to, uh, you know, I'm happy to, like, tell you guys and give you some assistance on it. I, uh, I can talk to you about anything like that, because, um, uh, pretty much that I, I don't know, I, I just know about a lot about cars. I'm, like, a big car enthusiast. I enjoy, uh, I enjoy working on them. I enjoy talking about them. I mean, I, maybe I need to focus on a couple other things, but, I, I, you know, it is what it is. Oh, shit. Is, yeah, um, hmm. Is it, uh, I thought it's an axle. It is an axle, right? Front drive axle. That's what I thought. Drive, maybe. There we go. Front drive axle. It is... Oh. Baloney. What, which one is it? It is a G, right? Yes, that's it. G. Front drive axle G. Alright. Front drive axle G. That's it right there. Front axle G. Alright, sweet. Alrighty. What are we like it now? Oh, the plate. Oh, I gotcha. Sweet. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, drum wheel cylinder. Drum. There we go. One brand new drum wheel cylinder. Okay, there we go. We got the drum wheel cylinder, and we're going to get the brake shoes on, because we just got those, and our brand new brake drum we just got as well. Yes, I see that the wheel is ready to go on. But we're not ready for the wheel, so let's get our bushings in for our leaf spring. Oh, uh, we got to get clear back here to the back. There we go. All right. Pretty sure we need some more stuff. I'm not positive on what we're lacking here. Um... Okay, we got got the shocks mounted. We got the leaf spring mounted. We got the worm mat. Oh, uh, we need the tie rod for this side. All right, part mount, please. Thank you. I knew we was lacking something, and we will put the outer tie rod on right here. But once again, I do apologize for the the vehicles going by. Uh, like I said, I do live pretty close to a road. So it makes a lot of noise from the traffic that goes by in the big trucks. Alright, so let's get this one done. And we will 
Put the tire back on here. NASCAR, baby. Alright. So we got the... Looks like we got the front end done. So let's move on back. And we will get exhaust. Uh, yeah. Come on. Back down here. Thank you. Metal muffler. Okay. Uh. Alright. That moment when you get lost. Alright. So, we need the muffler. Alright, so we need one metal muffler, which is this one. And we will install it. Part mount, please. Yes. I uh, say the rear muffler V8, and then we got the metal muffler, so let's put our metal muffler on, and we need our V8 muffler, so muffler uh, V8 overhead valve, that's it right there with the chrome tip, sweet, alright, there it is, so we put the muffler on, we got, we're good there, good there, um, yeah, so let's move on to the, the rear end now. We have to, we're going to have to remove the drive shaft, unfortunately, and get these bolts out of here. This guy's got some amazing talent. He can literally pull the bolts out, like, 40 feet away, <laughs> which is pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Uh, let's get this wheel off. All righty. NASCAR, baby. All right. See, I told you it was going to have to replace the caliber. I knew that was going to happen. See, this truck's ass backwards, really. It's got caliber brake calibers and drums in the, in the back. And pads up front. I don't, I don't know. It's backwards. They put the front act that was, They got me puzzled. Whoever did the mod wasn't very good at it, apparently, because he is backwards. He literally put the wrong parts on the wrong sides. Alright, let's get that. Uh, oh. Alright, we'll move, remove that. That's fine. Alright, so we gotta get the bushing. Thank you. Thank Oh. Forgot the U-bolts. Important. Important. We forgot the U-bolts. Alright, so we got the U-bolt here. Yes, yes. Thank you. And the plate. Which should have fell off on the floor when you pulled the plate off. Alright, there we go. One leaf spring down. One took all. Alright, sweet. Alright, let's get, let's get this off. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, come on, don't play stupid with me. There we go. Alright, get that one off. Pull the bushing out. We're doing it crazy backwards style. I don't know why, but we are. Shouldn't be. We shouldn't be, but we are. It's all good. We'll get it figured out. Uh, yes, that's right, we have to remove the tire, so that's... At least the logic's there a little bit that it does have that little bit of point. Alright, so. I guess you you can remove the leaf spring without the tire, so. I just did it backwards. I should have pulled the tire off when I did it, but I didn't do it because I wasn't on this side. Alright, sweet. Remove these bolts on the back side here, which be would be a pain because they would be rusted. Alright, we'll move, remove that, and we'll remove this, and one axle out. Alright, let's go over here. Ouch, run into the pole. Look out, truck. Look out, Mustang. Alright, alright, let's repair this, repair this, repair this, repair this. Savage! Alright, we got that done. Sweet. Alright, part mount. Let's get it. One brand new rear axle. All right, leaf spring, bushing. Wow. 
Shock Exorber, we need a brand new one. Shock Exorber B. Alright, let's get the shock. Shock Absorber B. There it is. One Shock Exorber B. Alright, there's the Shock Exorber B. Slide it right in there. Slap it in there. Alright, we got that part done. We got that. We are putting this on now. Oh, solid rear drive axle. So we need solid. Uh -huh, rear. Uh, it's a rear. That's what it is. It's a rear. Solid driver axle. Rear. Rear, 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 rear. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Fine parts. Yeah, yeah. Fine parts. Solid rear drive axle. Yes. Me too. We get two of those. Thank you. Alright, so we got the solid driver axle. Slap it in there. Just slap it in there. Alright, we got that. That's good. That's good. That's good. Alright, we got that part. And we bought this brand new, so we have that too. And we are putting this on because we just bought this too. Uh, sweet. Sweet. Let's get the tire on because we can get this side done completely. Alright. Sweet! Alright! Part mount! One brand new shock absorber! We need another one! I thought I bought one! Shock! I didn't buy two! I'm a retard! Oh my bad! Alright, here we go! Bow! One! Oh, shit! Leaf spring. Yeah, and you know, I should have bought two. Leaf spring. Alright, one leaf spring. We're gonna get the plate, just in case. Two yo bolts. Yes. Yes. Alright. So we got one brand new leaf spring. Thank you. And one brand new bushing. I know I got the bushings. I keep stock of bushings. Alright, we got that. We slapped that bushing in there. Oh, I didn't slide the bushings in for that leaf spring. My bad. Alright, so we got that one in there. Oh. Sweet. Wow. Alright, yeah, that's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. We need to go back to the back. Why are you always still in the front? Alright, so, part mount, please. Uh, rear axle knuckle housing. Alright. Uh, rear, uh, knuckle... Which one is it? Uh, poo. It is C. I should have known that. I should have looked. Yes, I should have looked. Sorry, I didn't look. I get it. Okay. Okay. Alright. Really? Wheel Hub 3. Hub 3. My bad. Okay, I found it. Dang. Alright, there is a hub. A bam. One axle. Slap, slap, slap. Part in. Part in. Yes. We'll slap that on there. Little slap it a do die. Alright, we got that one done. Alright, we got this one. And we'll slap this one in there too. Get the wheel on NASCAR style. Bow, 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 bow. Alright, what are we lacking? We lack anything back here? Yes, we are. 
We are lacking something big, important. You... Do you not see what we're missing? I see what we're missing. I'm pretty sure we didn't got the... Leaf Springs on... Leaf Spring U-Bolts on. See, I didn't know... If, comment below if you think you, uh... You missed it too, because I think I did... I think I forgot. I know I forgot. But if you forgot to, I want you to comment below and tell me what you think if you forgot to, because I did forget. I thought it was done. I thought it was done. I was excited. Uh, yep. There's the plate. Slide the plate on. Oh, one. I yield bolt. Wow, wow. I need an air ratchet instead of ratchet. I hear this normal ratchet. We need an air ratchet, man. All right, so we got that, that, that. I thought we put the rear. I thought we put the drive shaft in. I guess we didn't. Oh, uh, I know what we did. We didn't put it on because we didn't tighten the bolts up on one side. We did it only on one side, so it's all good. So we got that, that, that. All right, we got. I think we're done with it. Um, let's see here. Car status. It is done. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. It says I'm messing a leaf spring thing. Uh, aha! Wow. That moment when I did forget the front, too. Oh, my gosh. All right. I think you guys, uh... I, what? You, did you remember, too? I, I didn't catch you. You didn't catch on to that. Uh, I don't think I did. All right. Oh, no, no, no. Absolutely not. We ran out of uh, those bolts. Uh, you bolt. No, it's not. Bolt? Maybe? No, I'm spelling it wrong. Blot. Look at me. I'm all messed up. There we go. One brand new U bolt. We got it. Alright, so we are grabbing this and we will assemble here thank you very much all right so we got that one and that one's on all right so you got the leaf springs on la da 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 da, -da. good 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 uh we are only lacking what what are we lacking we're lacking important stuff we're lacking the tailgate so let's go just back here and we will uh assemble car please no normal mode. Uh, is it interior? No, it's not interior. Uh, normal mode again. Uh, we are lacking parts. We need to tailgate on it. So why can't we put the tailgate on? Oh, uh, not back up. Down, down, boy, down! I say. Go down. Thank you. Ouch. We're stuck on something. Okay. Why do we take the bed off? Oh my gosh. Alright. So. Trunk. Yeah. What the hell? What is this? Okay, we apparently found a glitch in the game. That's not cool. And it doesn't have tail lights. Nice. Very nice. That's just dandy. Alright. Well, I mean, other than that, it looks pretty good. It's pretty sweet. Look at it here. Oh, mama. Alright, let's... Uh... You know, I'm just curious. I, I didn't look at it, but when I first did it, and I put the transmission and stuff in, I want to see some. I'm going to slide everything over here, and I want to see if they actually make a transmission 
uh, our racing transmission for it so we can actually tune it and put a little bit more power in it because I really like to have more power in it. So it is gearbox V8 overhead valve and we will go to the performance parts and we will look at our gearbox shop and it's a gearbox is um see it says gearbox v8 four by four gearbox that's it right there hey, yeah it is a gearbox v8 overhead valve so we are going to slap a racing transmission in this bad boy because i feel that if we slap the racing transmission in it it would uh we can tune we can actually tune the truck and make it run a lot smoother and faster and i really want to put some power on on the dyno and see what it does because I can feel, I feel like it needs power. Why? Because I do. Because, just because. That's why. There's no excuse. Alright, so let's hurry up and get this done. Because we're running out of time. We don't want to run out of time. Alright, let's we'll slap that in there. One brand new transmission. Let's get that done. And let's slap a brand new starter on. Come on, come on. We gotta get this done. We're running out of time. Run out of time, guys. Run out of time. Alright, come on, come on, come on, one brand new transmission, and I'm just going to put transmissions in because I do it all the time in my Lancer. Alright, let's see here. Alright, we're good. We're clear. Alright, drop the truck. Drop the truck, drop, 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 drop the truck. Alright, drop the truck and let's move it to the dyno, please. Dino shop. Bam, bam. Di what? Get out of the way. Alright, we're going into dino shop. Sweet. Shut the door. I didn't say open the door, I said shut the door. It's mega power in here. Alright, let's go over here. Thank you. Yes, I do want to proceed with the test. Alright, open her up. Let's see what we got. How much power do we got? How much power do we got? Oh, look at them numbers. I don't know what the numbers are yet. Alright, so... 388 horsepower, 692 foot-pounds of torque. Alright, alright, so... Let's, um... Let's tune the parts. And, uh, we'll turn... First gear down a little bit, second gear up some, third gear up some, fourth gear up some, and we'll put 411 gears in it because I think a 411, oh it says four gears, huh? let's go five, five, so we'll move it up some too and save, thank you. Alright, and let's see what else. Can we? That's the only thing we can tune, right? Yes, I guess. Okay. Run the dyno again, please. One more time, then we're going to end the episode. Alright, run the ep. Run it, run it, run it. Go, 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 go. What we got? If, uh, the gear ratio shouldn't actually change that. But maybe put a little bit more top end on the car truck. Alright. So. I think. Yeah. Alright. So let's get this thing outside. And I'm going to drive it man. It's not a good idea to me. Because I want to drive it. That's right. Alright. So my entrance A. And I am going to go out here and drive my truck. And I am going to see you guys. Later, I guess. Because, you know, you don't want to miss the next episode. You know what I mean? You don't want to miss anything that it has anything to do with me. Because, you know why? You love my channel! Don't forget to turn that medication bell on, and peace, guys. Mm -hmm.